Good morning, Facebook friends. This is your girl, Princess, with True Feels Hurt. I don't know if anybody's going to join me. So I wait a second so I won't be trying to repeat myself and explain what I'm talking about. God is so good, y'all. God is good. Okay, so I'm going to get to the point and share the video. Um, and for those that's joining in, if you missed the point, then just start back over when I share it live. Okay, good morning. It's your girl, Princess, like I said. And um, this morning, I want to share something with you. Um, truth is hurt. Listen, when I first started out on this journey, um, you know, I was advised by some people who have some major pages and... It was telling me how to build my brand, Truth Is Hurting. So they were saying, you know, you need people to like and share, like and share, like and share. And so even when I was asking people to like and share, they wasn't really liking and sharing. And then I had like, you know, a few faithful friends that would like and share. And so, you know, sometimes it would make me feel bad. And so then I started like, you know, feeling like maybe this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, because it's not working out like how it's supposed to work out it's supposed to like and share and i ended up with people saying do you mind if i share it you know do you mind if i do this or whatever and i don't think anybody really minds you sharing their stuff uh that they're trying to be inspirational motivational about uh but i think they just want credit for their stuff and so i found out like when i first started this um like it was 2014 uh you know when i really 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 started putting work into truth is hurt and so um you know people started saying can i share this can i do this can i do that and i'm like yes yes please 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 you know and i'm like okay every time i make a video i'm trying to tell people to share like whatever and so i was spending too much time on telling people to like and share and all this stuff so then I, like i said i got discouraged then the second time around, um, with the radio show and all that stuff, I was like, okay, God, you're telling me now to go do this portion of it. And I got discouraged with that because I was asking people to listen to the show. And a lot of people was like, oops, I missed it, blah, blah, blah. You know, people had their own lives. And so as I began to scroll through my timeline, you know, I kept seeing a whole bunch of people, like a whole bunch of people with friends, none friends. And even if the people were on there being negative on the people's videos and stuff, it was just discouraging to see that my little, you know, six or seven people that was following and watching me. Uh, and then these other people had thousands of people watching them and liking and sharing and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm telling you, that got in my spirit. And I was like, oh, I don't want to do this. Like, how about I just don't do truth heels hurt, um, whatever, because I'm not getting the response and I'm not getting the sharing and the liking and all that stuff that, you know, these sponsors uh, are telling me that I need to get in order for them to pick up my brand. And so I, I began to cry, y'all. I'm serious, serious, cause it's a hurtful thing if you're depending on, see y'all, I'm finna get to the message now. If you're depending on your fans and your family and your friends, well, uh, I hate to say this. This is sad that I bring this news to you this morning, but it ain't gonna be them. Mm -mm. Cause some of your family members are not going to, um, share nothing like nothing some of them gonna read it and scroll right on past it some of them gonna like it in real life but not say it to nobody hey carlithia how you doing some of them gonna just scroll on past it but i'm telling y'all the lesson that god showed me in this i'm gonna tell y'all something while it was hurtful for me to understand why it was not my folks 
supporting me like they should and they actually i got enough friends and family members my family alone is enough to take me to like i guess a viral state according to my sponsors but they kept saying princess you have the followers you have this you have that and i kept saying well i'm not understanding what i'm supposed to do and they were like well maybe you need to ask them maybe you need to do this maybe you need to do that and i'm like why well, i got sd for when i'm sitting up here tagging and telling them to like and share and all this stuff so y'all i had felt some kind of way i'm serious i was just feeling some kind of way and then the lord spoke to me princess is not about the likes it's about the lives I had people start after I got that revelation. I'm not lying to y'all. After I got that revelation about it's not about the likes, it's about the lives. People start coming up to me saying, I looked at your video this morning. I thank you for being an inspiration. I'm still looking down at the post. I'm like, they ain't like nothing. They ain't share nothing. It wasn't making no sense to me. And so then I was like, well, what would they keep telling me they like this stuff for? So God was trying to show me that it's not about the likes, it's about the lives. It's about the lives that you touch and it's about the lives that you help to change and it's about the things that you say to people that make them reconsider the way they're doing things. So they may not like it, princes, and they may not share it, princes, but you are changing lives. You have influence. And so I was like, I don't know about that. Like seriously, y'all, you you when you when God tell you to do something, the enemy is gonna focus on the thing that is distracting you and not the thing that uh is gonna motivate you. Yes, 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 yes. Jerome. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that's how I was feeling, but Jerome, I got a different revelation from God uh, now, so I don't even worry about it. I just be on here. I don't come on here unless I got something to say and tell y'all from God. I don't waste people's time no more uh, because I may have some fans, but if lives are not changing and if uh, people are not trying to rethink the way they go about their lives, then my mission is not being accomplished, and I'm not just trying to get thousands of people to follow me just for me to uh, have opinions about my makeup and my hair and all of that i realized that i do want the people that are coming in contact with me to want something different in their lives because that's what god planted inside of me for me to motivate for me to push people into greater and for me to uh say words or share with you my testimony that will make life be different for you that will make you want something different in your life to make queens stand up and realize that they are the daughters of the king and they don't have to settle for just anything or to be treated any kind of way and so when i realized that wait a minute let me rethink and revisit it, this social media mess i realized that i don't want the likes i want the lives i want to be an influence to your life i want when you hit my video you you feel like okay i'm going to get something from princess that god has placed inside of her that is going to make my life change I, that's going to make me rethink what i'm doing that's going to make me pay my bills that's going to make me or uh, fix my hair that's going to make me feel like today if i don't feel like fixing my hair i'm gonna be all right i want my videos to now matter in a way of influence. When I was little and I was saying that I wanted to be like Maya Angelou, let me tell y'all something what I didn't realize. See, then when she was coming up, it wasn't no whole social media for everybody to be liking and sharing and stuff. And so that stuff will get you sidetracked if you're on here trying to influence people uh, by liking and sharing. And so, yes, I lost my sponsor, but my feelings ain't even hurt. Because now I got people walking up to me, even in my on my job, y'all, that I ain't never seen before in my life, that say, Princess, I looked at your video this morning, or passing by me that I have never spoken to in my life, never seen, and I'm in the grocery store in El Paso, who I thought I didn't hardly know nobody. And so I'm in the grocery store and this lady is walking up to me who I've never seen and said, it's because of you and that video that you posted. And it brings tears to my eyes because I'm telling you, I was focused on the likes and the shares and not the lives. And that's what we got to do when it comes to what God called us to do. Whatever it is God called you to do, stop depending on the likes and the support and all this old stuff that we be looking at. Because I'm telling you, I got so sidetracked trying to build my audience, trying to uh, get people to vote for me, trying to, you know, like my book, read my book, buy my book, you know, spending all this time 
All right, now, Jerome, you talking. You talking now. You talking on here. Help me preach this. Yes, Susan. But I'm telling you, Susan, girl, it wasn't until God reminded me, honey, you can have all the likes and shares in the world and mean nothing to nobody. He was trying to get me to focus on the lives that need to be changed and the hearts that I need to bless and the people I need to pray over. I, I got so sidetracked, y'all. I was getting discouraged with my true feels hurt. I'm telling y'all, I started this in 2014. And then I was like, I ain't got this kind of time. No, I told them people. They was like, Princess, you got to get on here. You got to make sure you're consistent every day saying something. I said, well, sometimes I ain't got nothing to say. I don't want to waste people's time. I ain't got nothing to say. Just on him, just doing stuff. And so when I realized, I'm telling you, God had to give me revelation. So I'm talking to somebody else on him. And it ain't about just this social media. God done told some of y'all do some stuff. And y'all worry about who's going to support you. Worry about how your money coming. Worry about what's going to All this stuff. Just all this stuff. God is not concerned with all of that stuff. He own all this stuff. He's not concerned with all these people. And all this stuff that they can help you with by liking and sharing and you know, all this support and all this. He's not concerned with that. He's concerned with my books getting into the right hand to minister to the right person. He's concerned with the videos getting to the right person. So that this lady or this man who don't know how to trust him will listen to these videos and be like, oh, I have a newfound revelation. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, Susan. Amen. You're right. So I'm like, I'm going to get on here and do what God told me to do. Whether y'all like or share, support, not. Clap, don't clap. I just I guess what I'm trying to get y'all to see is that I had to redirect my focus because you can lose out on the mission if you don't redirect your focus. Because a lot of times when we're doing things, we're worried about the wrong things. Like what God called us to do. It's not some of this extra stuff like overnight you can become a successful person and you didn't even expect that to be. That was my text message from my husband. You didn't expect it to be. And so I just want y'all to realize that this is about the lives. If you're in ministry, whatever it is God called you to do, it's about the lives. Not the likes. Everybody ain't going to like you. I'm just telling you now. And that, like I said, this is not just about social media. Just using that as an example. Everybody ain't going to like you. Everybody ain't going to clap for you. Everybody ain't going to be kissing you. Everybody ain't going to be smiling with you. Everybody ain't going to be buying stuff. Everybody not going to be uh, following behind you. Everybody not going to be uh, loving on you. Everybody ain't going to tell somebody else that you doing something great. Um, some people just going to be nosy. Some people not going to support you because they don't care nothing about that. But God told me, Princess, it's not about the likes. It's about the lives. You have to be someone who I can use to help change lives. You need to change lives. Like you don't want to waste people's time with videos. That was my husband again. Talking about stuff that, you know, and then exciting people and ain't nothing happening in their lives nothing like they come and listen to your video like when people leave my videos i want them to be, rethink be like uh oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute and i want them to be influenced by the power and anointing that's on the inside of me and not by my face my my makeup my hair none of that stuff i don't want to influence you that way i don't want to waste your time with all that but the lord had to show me that princess, when I call you to the forefront, I don't call you to the forefront for you to get likes <laughs> and for people to share. <laughs> like, we'll get caught up. I'm saying we'll get caught up in this assignment. Everybody's not going to be doing that. But how many lives can you influence? And so, like I said, and I'm summing it up and I'm going to work. When I said I wanted to be like my Angelo, I'm saying when I was little, I wanted to be like her. When she opened up her mouth, she, when she, when she opened up her mouth, Excuse me. Um, let me see what Carlita, if time I'm watching. Thank you, Carlita. See, that's what I'm talking about. You just helped me to prove my point. You don't know how many lives you 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 influenced by doing what God called you to do. Like that this brought tears to I'm telling you. That right there. Just the fact that people walk up to me that I don't know, too, this blow my mind. But anyway, what I was saying was, Dr. Angelou, I, I kept saying, oh, I want to have that like her. And then I, the Lord had to show me. 
She ain't had no social media, no Facebook stuff. She just stood firm in her words and her wisdom. And she spoke. Hardly ever foolishness. I, I don't I don't recall any foolishness. And if it was, it was it never was shared with me. Like, but if you want to have influence and power, and you want you got to be led by God, and you got to speak what God tell you to speak, and not be speaking all this old other stuff. And so I no longer am concerned about how many likes I get, how many shares I get. It's about the lives and about meeting people. Like yesterday, this lady said, I attended your birthday service. Like my eyes was like, they had grown because I'm like, I in El Paso, here where I am. She was like, I attended your birthday service and it just changed my life. So, and for you to just praise God and just to read your testimony, some of it, she was like, it just, can I just give you a hug? Like, y'all should have saw my face. Like, I wish I could have been live then. Because that's what this walk is about. It's a not about the likes and the and the shares and the who did this and who did that. It's about the lives. And so, y'all, I have a newfound revelation. I'm out here to change lives. I am not out here for the love I get. I appreciate it. Trust me, y'all don't know how much y'all bless me by loving and liking and all this extra stuff. But if you don't, if you don't, I made up in my mind that I'm going to do what God called me to do. Even if I have to do it by myself. Like, I just want to please God. And now that I'm there, I'm so comfortable in my life. I'm not concerned anymore about how many people share and push and support or buy i'm i don't care anymore about that and i know some of y'all probably looking at this video like yeah uh-huh i don't even care anymore i'm writing now for god i'm i'm on videos now for god and um i'm saying things because i understand that i have influence like my anointing is now reaching places that i never imagined because i'm obedient to god not because People are liking me and loving me and sharing my stuff. It's because I'm being obedient to God. Y'all have a blessed day. <laughs> like, I'm going on in Jesus' name. And I'm excited about it because now I'm making my father proud of me. Like, I want to cry about that because I'm, I now am making God proud of me. It's just amazing. I love y'all. I love y'all. Y'all do what y'all do. Okay? Y'all do what y'all do to please God. And don't worry about your audience. Don't worry about it. Don't You can't. And you'll be surprised at how many lives you changed. Um, How many people you influenced. I got one more thing and I'm going to go. I went to a training uh, last last week. I'm sitting in the training and this lady taps me on the shoulder and she's like, stand up. Let me give you a hug. And I don't know the lady. I'm not making up this stuff. I don't know the lady. So I stand up to give this lady a hug. And then she said, it's your video about being able to deal with death. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I'm sharing this moment with y'all because I'm trying to get y'all to understand that when God tell you to do something, you just got to do it. You can't worry about the rest of the stuff. Like, I don't know these people that are now coming. And then they, they going out here and they talking about it. And I, you may not even see it on the Facebook. You may see, oh, she just got two likes and she may just got 15. But now my life, I have influence. I have influence. And I can change people's thoughts. And that's what your anointing is supposed to do. I change the way people think about their crummy lives. And that's what our lives are supposed to do. That's what God gets to use me for. And I'm so excited about that, y'all. Like, I thank God for that revelation. Likes versus lives. I want to change lives. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. I'm going here with these tears in my eyes.